So it's been on my heart to do this video. Um, I'm not judging anybody. I just want to make people aware of what I've found out. As I think everyone should know. Lots of people already do. But lots of people don't. <clears throat> I was going to make this video before Christmas, but I thought people might take me as too judgmental and not hear the message. Besides, why would anybody listen to me? I'm just this guy. But hopefully I can plant this seed with you and... You know, God can do the rest. So I'm just going to read a little bit about this book here. Because there's a few interesting things. And then I'm going to go over to the whiteboard where I've written some scriptures uh, for us to take a look at concerning Christmas. Alright, so here we go. So this is an old book. This book is from 1937, Christmas, Its Origins, Music, and Traditions. Alright, so probably the greatest festival of all times is that much of the world celebrates at Christmas time. But to understand its significance to the greatest possible degree, we shall have to trace the beginnings of this great Christian festival with its mingling of divine and human elements back to the pagan soil in which it has its roots. You see that? Pagan soil in which Christmas has its roots. Okay, so the Christmas tree is born of pagan roots. That's important. The purpose of this book is to disclose some of the ancient and pagan origins of our Christmas customs in order to understand more clearly the great mass of the folklore and traditions and music and drama and art has contributed to the richness of of our present cultural background. And goes on to tell you the many names of Christmas. Uh, that it's based on Roman Saturnella. This is all stuff you can just look up on DuckDuckGo. Um, so there's a few other things I wanted to show you. So, check this one out. <clears throat> it was an ancient superstition of the Saxons that the sacred bonfires which they burned to the god Thor during the Feast of Yule would help to bring back the warmth and power of the sun after the long winter solstice. So sacred was the Yule log. And that part of it was always save for the next year's firing and wayfarers tip their hats as they passed by the burning logs. Christmas is also called Sol Invictus, which meant Sun Unconquered. So the reason I am just showing you this book here and all this stuff you can find out, but it was easier for me to show you with a book. But you can find it all online. Um, Alright, so now I'm going to show you some scriptures, which I think you're probably going to find pretty interesting. Alright. <clears throat> let's see. So let's start with Jeremiah 10. 3 and 4. 
For the customs of the people are in vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with an axe. They deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Yeah. Ezekiel 20.31 For when ye offer your gifts, when ye make your sons pass through the fire, that means to celebrate, do some kind of pagan or satanic custom. <clears throat> That's the fire. You're making your kids pass through this fire. Ye pollute yourselves with all your idols, even unto this day. So, mistletoe, that's an idol. Yule log, that's an idol. Wreath, that's an idol. Satan, I mean Santa, that's an idol. In the occult, everything is done by the numbers, numerology. So, when you write, Santa, it's the exact same numerical value as Satan. Jesus said this, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth in some other way, huh? some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he's not a thief like a regular thief. No. He's stealing your soul with deception, misleading you. I'm going to just tell you the Most High. You know, uh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Christmas is an abomination. This is not a holiday celebrating uh, God and Jesus. This is not. Jesus was born in September. On the 9th or the 11th. <clears throat> it has nothing to do. Who who are the kids waiting for on Christmas Day? Jesus? I mean, this really doesn't have anything to do with Jesus. It's a deception. And some people are going to say, well, I celebrate Jesus. I love Jesus and I celebrate him on Christmas. Well, I just want to tell you this. Have you ever read the book of Exodus? The whole book is about how God took his people through the desert to get all the pagan customs, thoughts out of their system, out of their DNA, out of them, period. It took 40 years. So if you think that God is okay mixing his holiness with pagan holidays, you're sadly mistaken. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be high up. I'm just trying to be honest so that we can all get to where we need to go. So, God bless you. I hope this message is received well. Um, and I'll see you on the next one.